Welcome to Connie TV. I'm Connie. We have a wonderful guest from Panama today, Aniva Vallarino. Aniva, welcome to San Diego. Thank you, Connie. It's a pleasure to be here in San Diego with you. It's a wonderful city. I think this is a great opportunity for me to expand my little knowledge in the hospitality industry. Uh, we in Panama have a bunch of uh, endeavors and enterprises basically linked to the hospitality industry. Our main business right now is a company called Perfect Cleaners. We are the largest commercial laundry in Panama City. We do about 10 hotels, all private hospitals in the city, many restaurants. And with this experience, we have partnered with a Roger Kafif in the Trump Winston Club project to do a showroom with your help to sell the best of the world's products. Uh, like we were talking before, the idea and concept for this show is to give the opportunity for our customers to experience what they experience in a hotel bed. It's very, very hard. I have many friends, customers, and people that come to me and say, hey, how do you do this? How do you iron? How do you wash? What type of sheets? pillowcases, mattresses, duvets. How do, they, how do they make that wonderful bed that I'm willing to buy it? I want to buy it. But then in Panama, we don't have the options to buy those products. And normally, people cannot get their hands into this type of products because they're mainly manufactured for the hospitality industry. So we want to bring the hospitality industry to the retail segment with a different approach, uh, a very upscale view. We want to be able to train the people, to teach the people, and to give the people a white glove service. We're going to have this maid that would actually go to their houses and make the bed for the first time. Since we have the laundry, we'll be able to wash it like they do in a hotel. So the feeling is going to be exactly the same. It's going to be perfect we can basically replicate the hotel filling using our laundry, using a maid, and taking that bed to the customer for the first time. So your business, laundry business, is going to be, has a synergetic relationship with this new venture. So how do you see the operation works in the uh, beds of the world and your laundry business? I think it's, it's a very good opportunity for us to expand. We also do a rental business to hotels. We do sell linen to hotels. And there are a lot of independent hotels in Panama, small boutique hotels. Panama is a country that is growing very rapidly. And the knowledge is not getting there that fast. So we get this cosmopolitan demand. We have people from Europe. US, all over the world coming to Panama, and they're demanding for services that not necessarily are there. Mm -hmm. So we believe we can use our experience with your help to acquire knowledge that will be given to those customers that may need designs for their boutique hotel. They want to replicate the experience of a very luxurious bed, only affordable, to a high-end brand that hotel, mm -hmm. like a Ritz, like a JW, like a W, like a Waldorf Astoria, we want to be able to take that to a small boutique hotel also, and also to the homes of the Panamanian people, tourists, foreigners that get to Panama. Mm -hmm. uh, like I told you, we're a country in rapid growth, yet the knowledge and the services are not necessarily there like you may have them in the US. In the US, you go like this, and you have a solution for almost any problem. In Panama, we still need to work on that, but fortunately for us, that's the opportunity. That's what the US was many years ago, the land of opportunities. If you have the drive, if you have a, a entrepreneur mentality, if you're willing to work hard, you can make things happen. And I believe Panama gives you that opportunity. That's wonderful. 
So Roger has shared with us his vision and the future plan of the bets of the world. But what do you see? I share a lot of, of his vision. He, he's a person that transmits to me a lot of knowledge and confidence. So, and he's one of the most creative persons that I've met. And it's not only about being creative, but it's about making what you imagine happen. For example, with the Trump project, it was a, a, a project, a humongous project that most people never thought it was possible to do in a place, in a small country like Panama. People will go, hey, you're crazy. This is never going to happen. And he made it happen. It's there, it's working. It has been tough. It hasn't been easy, but it's there. So I believe that we're going to have to learn. We're going to make a lot of mistakes. We'll learn from our mistakes. But I believe what we want to do is we want to create a model that works, that will give the normal person an affordable way to have a luxurious sleeping experience. We spent one third of our day in our bed. Some people yeah. spend a little bit more if you watch TV and you go to bed at seven. Some people have breakfast at bed. Some people have dinner at bed. And yet, how many hours do you spend in your car? Three hours, two hours? You spend 40, 50, 80, $100,000 in a car. Right. Are you gonna cheap about a bed that you spent 10, 11 hours a day? Mm -hmm. Plus, it's what makes you rest. It's what will give you that relief for the next morning. So I believe we can teach people to invest in, the, in, in their bed as an investment. Mm -hmm. It's something that will energize you every day. And we're going to make it affordable for them. So the average person can have that experience at home. A good night rest, a good night sleep and will be the envy of their neighbors and friends. When we come back, we're going to learn more about the bets of the world from Anibal. Mm -hmm.